Yo, what's going on? Sexy Sam Lander Squad. We are doing a custom in the PTS. And the reason being... Bastet. Oh god, not this skin. Let's be... Hold on. I'll tell you why after I pick a skin. This is way more important than any other aspect in this video. Star Tamer? I, I hate your hair. Your hair sucks. Not that one. Uh... Sure, why not? I like the gun on your back. So, um, basically, I mean, just not to sugarcoat it, Bastet got a new alt again. I think it's her fourth alt ever. Maybe, maybe her, is it her fourth or her fifth? I don't know. Bastet's had a shit ton of alts because all of them just don't work well with her kit. But this one, I actually think is pretty sick and has a lot of, um, mechanical advantages to add to her kit and her playstyle in general because her playstyle is very jump in do damage get away type stuff so um it's pretty sick basically what you do if you don't know and you can't wait until i hit level five which fair enough um her alt is she brings out a giant whip right she throws her whip and if it makes contact and it is very hard to make contact because it's a it's a big ability um, and it moves very slow. So it's super easy to dodge, which is kind of the only caveat of this alt maybe not being the greatest alt in the game. But if it hits, there is a big cat, I guess. They call it... What do they call it? They, they call it the Huntress of Bast is summoned. And it picks the bitch up that you hit and drags it to you. And... Once it lands at your feet, it creates this kind of quicksand type whirlpool. Kind of like uh, Poseidon's 3, except it's sand. And it ticks damage as well as dragging them closer. It does a lot of stuff. Bastet also got a completely new passive, which I forgot to mention. Hey, don't kill me, maybe? That'd be sick. Um, as you can see, I just healed a lot of my ability there. And it's because her new passive is physical lifesteal and physical ability lifesteal. 5% and then an extra percent per level. You get less percentage of lifesteal um, when hitting minions, obviously, as you should. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's that's basically it. It's That's all the changes to her, but I think with those changes enough... Did I just heal 100 HP for wanting the wave? Oh, wait, no, hold on. I lied. There is another change. One more change. The last one, I promise. Her, th her two, I was going to say three. Her two does damage much more quickly now. It, it hit for one second, uh, or it ticked one time per second previously. And now it takes all four times in two seconds. So they made it twice as fast in the, the damage output it does. It still does the same amount of damage. It's just much more bursty, which again, just fits the, uh, the kit quite nicely. Because she is a burst character. So I'm going to use the alt here. I grabbed him. Oh, it was too close. It was too close. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. If you hit the... Uh, if you hit a character too close with your ultimate, then it doesn't actually pick them up and drag you or drag them towards you. Instead, it will just stun them for a brief second, like you said. Or like you saw, not you said. Um... Yeah, like you saw, it will just stun them for a second. And yeah, it's a good thing to mention that her ultimate, for the first time ever, I think any of her ultimates, this one is actually CC immune when you cast it, which is a big deal because, you know, I, whenever you play Bastetta, especially in Conquest, which is pretty much the only help I think this change is for, I don't think she gets much better in Duel, but in Conquest specifically, um, you always have to buy beads because you have no CC immunity and you just get completely clapped up if you, uh... Oh, minions, get him! Let's go! Archers are the homies! You get completely clapped up if you don't get beads on Bastet. And now that her ult has some CC immunity, it's, uh, super good. Super good. Dude, look at the lifesteal. Like, just so much healing. I think they're, they're gonna nerf this. Because at level 20, you get 25% life steal and ability life steal. Just for free. Just because you picked Bastet, you get 
25% lifesteal in all aspects of the game. Granted, your lifesteal is only 50% uh, against... Um, minions. Oh, no, wait. It's 0.5% per level. So against minions at level 20, you have 15%. And you have 25% against gods. So actually, you just have a lot of lifesteal. They definitely need to nerf that. <laughs> it seems a little OP. Hold on. I want to... I missed. Well, there you go. It's a little slow, like I said. Let me see how much I heal off this. It's ticking for 10s. Because I have the HP pot ticking for 10 and then the multi pot ticking for 5. So the extra 10 was actually my 2. So using my two healed me for 40 there. I think she's crazy, actually. I think she might be a really good dual god. I know I said I don't think this changes her much in duel, like 10 seconds ago. But the fact that her two ticks really fast and her burst is really nice. And the, coupled with the fact that she has a shit ton of life heal just by default. That's really nice. The alt isn't really like that big of a change for duel because it's very hard to hit, especially when you have someone focusing on you. But still, this is nuts. This is nuts. Ow. My damage is so high. All right, I have 680 HP. Land on the wave, 740. Nice 60 HP for just clearing the wave. That's hype. She seems good, man. She seems really good. I really want to hit my ult. <laughs> it sounds so dumb to say it out loud, but I really want to hit my ult. Oh, I got it. He beats it, but I did grab it. You saw the big caddy. Caddy? Big kitty. <laughs> the big kitty cat. <laughs> the pussy. You saw the big cat go and pick him up. You didn't see the quicksand at my feet because he beads it, but that will come. Eventually, I will alt him one of these times when uh, he doesn't have beads up, and it'll be super cool. Super cool. So the combo, by the way, it, it is a new combo. Obviously, a lot of people have been playing Bastet recently, and your combo with your alt was just to use it and then spam all your abilities. Now the combo is to use her alt, get the guy dragged towards you, and then when he is in your sand pit, you then use your three because your three is a root, in case you didn't know. You hit him with your three and it roots him in the sand pit. By the way, the sand pit does tick damage. The longer he's in it, the more damage he takes. So you grab him, you root him in the sand pit, and then you hit him with the two, and, uh, and that's your new combo. For bursting and might i say i was messing around a little bit in jungle practice the burst is not mediocre it's very good dude my damage is so good what the heck come back here got him <laughs> he was backing so you can see right there the little tick damage field <laughs> Dude, the alt is so cool. Hmm. All right, let's just keep farming. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling and farming. Um. Let's go. Go more cooldown. Why not? Get the cooldown. I'll go blink and do a crusher. I'm not exactly sure what. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what. Items were changed, so I can't really showcase any of those. But I shouldn't really, anyways. This video is mostly about just the Bastet's change being super cool. I'm level 12, which means I have 17% ability lifesteal right now. Dude. Oh my gosh. You dead? Dude, my one. It's like I have Soul Eater. I'm actually healing like I have a Soul Eater. That's insane. This is crazy. Alright. Just clear.
clearing and now I got to get red buff here. What other items should I go? Because like my main goal is just to emphasize how much burst she does. So I just want to get more damage. Um, I could go Soul Eater to kind of exaggerate how much healing her passive is. That could be fun. Hello. Bring in to me. Oh, he beads. Right? Hit him with the root. Jump. Oh, God, he's so good. I'm going to med because I thought he was going to... Oh, God, he definitely should have ulted me. Look at this. Healy. Healy boy, you know? Land on him for a swift 100 HP. To him. I missed! Ooh. There it is, boys. There it is. Maybe I will go Soul Eater. I don't know. I, well, I have 30% cooldown. Soul Eater would cap it. 40%. We might as well. We might as well. Plus, it gives me pen anyways. Nice. Glad Bast had a Bruce. And yeah, for sure. I think the I think the faster the faster two and the fact that her alt is it will root you down and really let her get some autos off and stuff like that. I think her burst damage is just so much better and for those wondering why I keep mentioning I, I think burst damage as Bastet like there's certain gods don't want burst damage or don't even need it really like when you think of a hunter you don't think of burst damage you think of consistent damage right but when your whole goal as a character is to jump in do as much damage as you can and then jump out all you want is burst for that you know and so now that she's doing her damage essentially twice as quick because her two is twice as fast and she's able to pick somebody out with her alt. I mean, I just think it's it's going to make her so much better in general. Fuck. I tried. Jump to jump away. <laughs> no! It's okay. It's okay. We're vibing. We're vibing. We're vibing. Ooh. Does it get him? Ooh. Get him, cat. All right. I get him. Oh no! Okay, got him. He got him. I think I want Crusher for my next item. Really just like... Oh my god. I don't even have Soul Eater yet. I literally don't even have it yet. And I'm healing so much. I mean, I have it, I guess, technically. But I, it's not it's not maxed out. So it's not actually giving me a ton of ability life steal yet. I feel like she's not so mode. I got him. Oh, he beats. Ah! Okay, we're gonna go back and get Crusher. Don't touch me. My auto attack's not working. Oh, there it goes. Um, can I? Or can I not? Look at this damage! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, God! So much damage. I don't have beads because I got meditation and blink. Okay. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, dude, should I go Heartseeker? Should I go Heartseeker or should I just go like a very generic like... These are very easy items to build on Bastet. I'll just do a very generic Bastet build to see what her true power is. Because most people, when they play Bastet, they don't get wild with it. Do anything nuts. They just build all the hammers. <laughs> they build Transcendence, they build all the hammers, and they build like one defensive item in Conquest. And then, and then they go and try to kill stuff. So I will simulate being... The bot. 
The conquest bot that picks Bastet and feeds 0 and 11 in your conquest games. That's what I will simulate. Can I do Bull Demon? I mean, I know I can, but like, is he going to show up and stop me? Ow. He turned on me. Also, by the way, um, I think Bull Demon got buffed this patch. Might have been last patch. One of the recent patches. And so it's a lot tankier than normal. Oh, that got him. That got him. They're lying to me. Oh, I definitely win these. I win these. Oh, there we go. Damn. He's got a heck of life steal. Heck of life steal. That's okay. We're fragging. Oh, I got Soul Eater. All right, we have 750 HP. I use my two and my autos. We have 1300. Excuse me? Excuse me. Do you guys just understand how much I healed, actually? What the shit? Oh, so close. So close to getting that kill. Alright. Okay, a new Bastet. <laughs> kind of my thing, dude. Away from me. I'm a pig. I'm a pig and a dinosaur and a pig and a dinosaur and a pig. Where are you? Hey, yeah. I'm scared. Oh, not enough range. Sif says new best set. Charlie, don't roast me, bro. Oh, God. That burst damage. Yoink, yoink. My god, the healing. The healing. I know I got Soul Eater to amplify it, but like, oh my god. It's just so much. It's actually so much healing. What the hell? All right, we land the alt. We land the alt here. Travel time. Two seconds. Fuck. <laughs> How do you like ah! that? All right, you back? Don't stop it. Perfect. You grab this. You grab this. We can do it, boys. We can do it. Okay, I'm gonna message him. Don't beads. Okay. He's not gonna beads. Okay. Here we go. Now you see the alt. Picks him up, drags him, places him there, and then you use the three. Dude. It did a thousand damage. And he didn't even stand in it the whole time because he was going to die. What the heck? Oh my god. It actually did a thousand damage. How much did it do on hit? That's crazy. 
I'm gonna ult him again. Come back here. Did 600? I did 600 damage on it. Nope. I missed everything. Didn't miss that one though. Holy shit, 676 on hit. Wait a second. This said it does 1600 damage. Oh no, wait, it's because I hit him twice. I used the first ult and then I hit him with that 600. Jeez Louise. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. I hit him for 636. What the heck? What the heck? I'm gonna hit him again. He's gonna beads. But I'm gonna do it. Fuck. Okay, end the game. End the game. Nobody saw anything. End the game. Quick. Quick, before anyone recognizes. Wow, that was a sick alt I hit on him there. That was really cool. Really nice alt there. Anyways. The Bastet's alt change, coupled with the fact that her 2 does literally the damage at twice as fast. And the fact that her passive gives you 25% lifesteal. I think I think Bastet went up like 17 tiers. Like she's always been a burst god and now that her damage, her actual burst damage, her two, does damage twice as fast. Her ult hits much harder. And the fact that her her um her passive is gonna keep her alive, make her much more survivable. And I mean obviously the fact that her ult has CC immunity. Like all of these things, all of these things coupled together, it's so so much damage and it's so much more mobility and survivability she's definitely she's definitely god tier now maybe not in duel maybe less so in duel because her ult's kind of like iffy to hit but you should i think in duel use her ult more as a shotgun than like picking someone out and in conquest you use it as you know picking someone out but anyways this is i guess like a first look she's not really a new god but it's a first look at quote unquote like the fourth generation of best <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.